going to show you how to do the popcorn stitch. So I'm just going to do a small little sample, uh, but then I will show you a dishcloth um, that I am making with it so you can see it in a practical application. So just make your slip knot. I wrap it around my index finger and thumb and draw up your yarn, not your tail. And I'm going to use sugars and cream. Sometimes it's also called peaches and cream. Uh, but it's just a bulky uh, cotton thread. And I'm using a size H crochet hook. So the really cool thing on the popcorn stitch, you just have to have an even number of chains to begin with. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we just have a small chain even number of stitches. You're going to skip your first uh, chain and we're going to do single crochets all the way across. So a single crochet, insert your hook below both of the threads on the chain below, draw up your thread, draw through both, under both, and just draw, draw through. So single crochet all the way across. This is what they call the foundation row. Okay, just a small little sample, but it'll be enough to show you the stitch. So we've done a single crochet all the way across. At the end, we're gonna chain three, and we're going to turn our project. Okay, so at the end of chain three, we're going to skip that first single crochet, and we're gonna to go to the next one, and in that one stitch, we're gonna put five double crochets. So a double crochet is you loop over, go under both of them in the single crochet, draw through two, draw through two. Loop over in the same hole. We're going to do a total of five double crochets. And this is kind of fun here. You flip over the loop onto your finger and in number one of five stick your hook in the top of it. Grab onto that loop, draw it through, and do a chain one. In your next single crochet, we're going to just do an individual double crochet all by itself. Then we're going to go on to the next one and we're going to do another popcorn, five of them in the same stitch down below. So there's one, two, Okay, at the end of five, put it on your finger. Don't put it in the top of that individual double crochet. Put your hook in the top of one of five. Pull it through, chain one. Double crochet. And one more popcorn. Draw, chain. So now you're down to just one by itself, which is perfect. Add a double crochet in that last one. And there you have a little Bambi Wambi row of popcorn stitches. To do um, a, a project, you need a row of popcorn, a row of single crochet, and a row of popcorn. I have to admit the row of single crochet was a little tricky because I couldn't get my head around how to space it out. So you chain one, you turn your project, and we're not going to go into that first stitch. We're going to skip the popcorn. And so we're going to go clear over here to this individual double crochet. So if, you, if it helps, pull your pro uh, project apart so you can see which one it is. So it's the top of that one. We're going to put two single crochets. So these have to be really loose. So there's one, nice and loose. In the same stitch, you do two. We're going to skip this popcorn. Pull your project apart and see that there's the next one. Skip clear over to it and do one and two. Skip the popcorn in the end one, very important. Put two in it as well. So there's one and there's two. We're going to do another row of popcorn. One, two, three chains to start with. So you're going to skip your first single crochet and in the next one we do a popcorn. Uh, 
Okay, perfect. And loop it over. And one of five. And then I'm going to show you what this is going to look like when it's lining up. You know you've done it right. So we're going to chain one. And we're going to put a double crochet in the next stitch and a popcorn in the next. Okay, so you can see how nice these are lining up. So I'm going to finish this last run here. Double crochet, popcorn. Okay, and at the end, remember we need to end with a double crochet. So in the top of the stitch down below, we need to put in a double crochet. Okay, so there you have a small little swatch on how to do the popcorn stitch. So here it is um, on the dishcloth that I'm going to show you how I'm doing that here in just a second. But to show you the measurements, this is about nine, uh, roughly nine and a half inches wide. So to do this project, just chain even numbers for whatever size project. If you wanted a wider towel or a blanket of some sort, you just do even number of chains for as wide as you want your project. So I've just finished a row of single crochet, which I'll show you that again. So we're at the, the end of the single crochet, you chain three, turn your project, not in this first single crochet, but in the next one we're going to put our five double crochet all in the same stitch. There's four, five, loop off the last one onto your finger, stick your hook in the top of the first one, not in your chain three, but in the first one of those five, and we're going to pull it through, chain one, and in your next single crochet, we're going to put just a single double crochet, and then we repeat and do the popcorn stitch again. Okay, to start the row of the single crochets, we don't um, do one in the first stitch because that is uh, taken up by your chain. You skip your popcorn and you go clear over to your first double crochet and you do two single crochets. And so you're going to have to stretch out your stitch just a little bit. So you're skipping the popcorn, go clear over to the next double crochet and two single crochets there. So you can see it stretches it out a little bit. There's a popcorn, so we're skipping that. Two single crochets. So for your calculation purposes, this is a 2.5 ounce uh, ball of the, the crochet thread, and I've used one on this project, and I'm gonna have to join another one uh, to finish it off and put a border, so you need just a little over 2.5 ounces. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a border on this and I'm just going to continue where I'm at. So I'm going to chain two and I'm going to turn my project and a half double crochet, I'm going to skip this first stitch, is you loop over, put it through your next one, put it through, um, drop your yarn and draw through everything on your hook. Go into the next stitch, loop over, Drop your yarn, draw through everything on your hook. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that'll give it a nice border. Okay, at the end of my uh, first side of the half double crochet border, we're now we're to a corner. Corners, you need to fill them nice and full uh, so that they lay flat. So on this one, uh, here's my corner stitch. I'm going to do one for this side. I'm going to do two to compensate for the bend on the corner. Then I'm going to do one for the next side and go to the next stitch and t lay it down and see how we go. Well, I'm going to do two stitches here to get a, a visual. Oh, that's going to lay down nice. So again, I did one for this side, two for the corner, and one for this side, and then went on. And so now we're going to work in the end of the rows. It looks like I might be doing two in each row here. Let's see what that looks like. But remember, there's a single crochet row in the middle. 
So that doesn't quite look like it's going to lay um, as full as I want. So let's do two in the end of the row. We're going to then do one in the single crochet row. Two in the end of the row. Single crochet. And let's see what that looks like. Oh, very good. Okay, so just um, that's the ba the border I chose. Uh, you can obviously do whatever you want, but I'm going to continue and uh, show you the finished product. Okay, there it is, all done. Um, I love this one. Um, it's going to be kind of a fun one. I really did enjoy the popcorn stitch. Uh, I have several other uh, little uh, dish claws and crochet videos on the channel, so check the link down below for those. If you have any uh, questions or suggestions of other projects we can do with this stitch, I'd love to hear from you. But as always, thank you for watching DIY on the House.